I just found out that the trans community has an issue with Aretha Franklin's song, You Make Me Feel, and won it off of all streaming platforms because she says, you make me feel like a natural woman, and they feel as though that is anti-trans. And I have a genuine question from the heart. I really genuinely want to know why. Why a woman embracing the way a person in her life is making her feel enough so where she makes a song about it why the trans community is taking offense to it. I don't get it. And maybe I don't get it because I am not trans. I am a cisgender woman, but I genuinely want to learn and understand. Um, I also would like to know why when a any woman these days embraces who they are biologically, saying i you know enjoy being a woman why that's so offensive to the trans women because i feel like we're all women trans or not we're all women but that's my thoughts i know people can be mean but i genuinely want to understand why that song in particular is so bothersome Please let me know in the comments. I'm not trying to be ignorant to the situation. I'm not trying to be mean or disrespectful. I genuinely want to know. So can you guys help me out? Thank you. Talk to you guys later. Have a good day. <laughs> so part of me is like, they can't be this stupid. And then part of me is like, yeah, bitch, they can be this stupid. <laughs> Sweetheart. I... This is so ridiculous to me. This is like, uh, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't, I, part of me doesn't know how to respond to this because this is so ridiculous. You know why it is ridiculous for us to be tripping about a song? Because we have over 150 anti-trans legislations that are coming down the pipeline that have been filed to restrict our care. You just got your ability to make decisions about your body when it comes to pregnancy. You just got that right taken away from you. And I want you to have that right because if they come out the, after the agency of your body, they'll come after the agency of mine. Shit is happening simultaneously. Now, we got the same enemy. We don't have time for ridiculousness. This stuff is ridiculous. Historically, we have been in community with each other. We, me and you, us together as a community and us individually, we have work to do. And it is not to <laughs> make Aretha Franklin roll over in her grave because we're messing with her song, a song that we love. You know why? Because being natural, isn't just you, baby girl. I'm natural too. <laughs> My transness is something that I was born with, naturally. So we don't have no problem with you being a natural woman. That's not even the language that we fucking use. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Because we don't make that separation, y'all do. In your mind, you're the natural woman and we're the imitation woman. That's not how we think of ourselves because that language invalidates us. So we're not having no issue with thinking that you are a natural woman. We don't even use that language. We know that language comes from the right, right wing. And if you do the research on that site that you got the article from, the inspiration to this video, you would know that that's a right wing fake news media machine. They make those headlines to get you riled up because they know it will snatch that transphobia up out of you like it did. And you you will make a video passive aggressive. I don't have any problem with trans people. <laughs> but this is you're showing your hand. You just passive you just passive about it. Unlike, you know, the other folks, they, they're hateful and mean. You're passive. Why, why would you 
hate natural women. Why do y'all have a problem? Because I'm proud to be a natural woman. Why can't you, uh, uh, why can't you, why do you need to be a woman? Why can't you be a trans woman? Why, what? <laughs> we know what that means. That's exclusionary. That's code for you're not a real woman. <laughs> We're the natural woman. We're the we're the authentic woman. You're the you know you are what you are. <laughs> that's just that's just nice nice nasty way of saying it. Oh, I love trans women. <laughs> I go to the drag show all the time. I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> I love trans women. So it is because you want to believe it. That's what it is. But it's ridiculous, baby. Find you some real trans friends. Be authentic. Dismantle the transphobia within you. Do the work. You can listen to my podcast called Marsha's Plate. <laughs> Streaming on all platforms where we teach you about trans thought. You know, what we actually think.